Alrighty guys, welcome back to another cross out video. So yesterday I made a video about power score and I I was decently thorough about it, but I feel like I could go from like A to B with it and kind of you know generalize it a little more um, and uh, be a little more upfront about it and uh, more more informational opposed to kind of how it was. Damn. People just keep on going. Everything's so expensive because of the Thieves event! Which, mind you, I have been crafting everything possible. But everything just keeps getting so expensive. Like, look at that. 163004. Just keep on going, I guess. Because it's only going to get more expensive the more people that get on. I should just probably quick buy some of this stuff because it's gonna keep staying expensive. But guys, anyway, um, as you can see, I have been fusing everything. I still need that. I'm refusing this because I didn't like. I don't like the weight limit. I think that's stupid. I want the max cabin speed for that one. And then I'm trying to fuse my Colossus, but that's currently on a build, so I can't fuse it. And then I fused all of my stuff today as well. My shiver. A million more ammo boxes, my P1 charge. I've been fusing everything for this event, and then I fused some wheels as well. To, uh, yeah. Debating on these, can't really afford them, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna get these guys. Anyway, guys, back to. What is this? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. What the fuck? He's running a steppy spider. Okay, this is ridiculous. Two minutes of time just wasted doing nothing. Okay, so basically power score. So what is power score? Um, how do you get it? And what gives you power score and makes you power score? So basically your power score is always going to be shown down here on the bottom right hand corner of your info tab. It will show all of your vehicle specifications, weight, acceleration, blah, 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 tonnage. If you have bonuses, your cabin, um, and then this right here, I can't highlight it, but this right here is your power score. And you can click this as well, and it will bring up all of the parts you have currently on the build. And uh, it's very it's very in-depth. Um, and then you can go down to like your power, and you can see everywhere on my build here where there is power being added or used, which is kind of cool. And then it shows like your tonnage, your speed, blah, 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 blah. Um, but this is this is Hulk. I just put typhoons on it, as you guys probably can see that. But uh, yeah, so that is where you find your power score. So every build starts anew. So we're gonna go right down here to let's go to one that's real easy. So we'll do this one. I don't have these tires. So right here. So this is 1290 power score. Obviously, there's no cabin or any of that stuff. Just ignore that. So how do you add power score? So each part has its own power score value. So as you can see, I can't really label it. Um, once I do the edit for this, I will do like arrows and stuff like that. But as you can see, each part has a power score value. So this one being adds 15 power score to your overall vehicle's power score value. Now mind you, power score is not related to durability. This is what your vehicle rating is. So if you are in like say a 5,000 power score, you will see people in that bracket of power scores. And I think it's every, I, I wanna say it's like every 2,500 power score, it is a different bracket and they all kind of intermix. So like a lot of my buddies and I will play like 89.99, which is like 9,000 power score. And then you'll see like 7K power score. So once you break like 10K power scores, when you'll kind of get mashed up with all of like 20k power score but anyway back to this so like i was saying every part on a vehicle has a power score value as you can see 22 15 the judge 425 now um weapons wheels cabins and modules so when i say modules that would be any of this stuff these are all module types um these will all have a power score value as you can see that generator is a legendary at 1600 and if you fuse an item um just to 
confirm this, it does not add power score to the, vehicle, to the item. It just benefits the module's abilities or perks, whatever you'd like to label them as. So as this one says, this is a fused ammo box. So this one is mass and efficiency. So as you can see up there, I wish, like I said, I will do arrows. That one is 47% and normally it is 30%. So that is the module efficiency perk for that one. So for like instance, for my P1 charge, which I also just fused. So this one um, has a power score of 410. Like I said, every part is labeled with a power score. And again, that is not related to your durability. Um, modules do not affect your durability and bumper parts and wheels do not affect your vehicle's overall durability. They are their own separate entity, but still apply to the general power score um, to the general power score in a sense. So like this, um, this has its own thing. This is a fused item. So as you can see, it is 410 um, for this item. It is fused. I will go ahead and show you guys really quick um, here in the factions. Bam, go down here. This is also 410 power score. So just to prove to you guys, power score is the same regardless if it's fused or not. But again, back to this here. Um, like I was saying, modules, weapons, wheels, and cabins have the highest power scores. And the reason that is, is because if you had parts with like, you know, 100 power score, 200 power score, 300 power score, and some parts do, bumpers do, but they do not affect the overall durability of the build. Um, do they affect a build? So for instance, this is 56 power score. So if I remove it, bam, as you can see, it affects the power score. However, if I bring it back, it does not affect the overall durability. As you guys can see, 228 Dura, bam, we brought the bumper back, still 228 Dura. So like I said, again, just kind of going over this again, every part has its own value. As you can see, as I'm going over all this stuff, I'll bring out one of my builds because they obviously are a lot more dynamic and parts are different. We'll just bring out this Kaiju Spider. And it says we're missing parts because some of it's fused now, but these are a lot more heavier parts, as you can see. So like. This part is a Steppenwolf part, 57 power score. Big Ramps, 360 power score. And ML200 is 400 power score. As you can see, no matter where I go in the vehicle, everything is labeled. All of this equates to your overall power score that you are seeing in the bottom right hand corner here, the 1400 or 14,000 power score. So power score is what makes up what tier and bracket of opponents you fight, whether they're bots or they're actual players. And that is what your power score does. And like I said, power score is built up by adding better quality parts and building more durable builds because a lot of the more durable builds have higher power score parts. Um, that's not always true in this sense. And if you want to, you know, build a build, which I do not recommend this, based on completely power score, you can go in here and go to here and go over here to your filter as I explained in my other video. Go down here, bam, power score. So this will show you parts that have the most power score influence in the game. So, bam, adds to the power score, but it doesn't affect the durability as you can see when I add it and remove it. Show you guys that one more time. See, 2052 Dura removed no dura as you can see it did change the power score so power score as i said you can build a completely power score based build this will give you every part in the game if you change it to that to power score from highest to lowest or you can change that and reverse it so it's lowest to highest whatever um, but this right here is kind of your building buddy so if you want to build like a really low power score like kind of seal clubbing build Searching parts by power score is your best way to do that for somebody who is new and doesn't know just offhand, you know, I know for instance like This part right here. We'll go right here. Go by type. Nice somebody Hopefully they sell me eight of them. So if you go right here, this seems weird to me So these are beginner parts right buggy parts But they have a high power score because if you can see and like I said I will do arrows and stuff the features if you see the feature right there it shows bullet pass-through now, I don't know what all of those icons are, but they do show um, what, what the values are. So like some of them have like impact and I'll show you that as well. So features 90% bullet pass through. And that's why you see a lot of people put like, for instance, we were playing arenas, a guy had a cyclone mounted on top of one of these suckers way above his build. And to me, that's a terrible idea, but you know, teach their own. But it's because of that, when people shoot at this part, 
90% of the fire that goes through this, obviously not fire fire, but firearms, bullets, pass through it. Um, for something like, we'll go all the way down here to this. This right here shows um, a lot of the bumper parts are impact resistant. So see right there, that shows the 90%. That is 90% impact resistant. This is also 90% impact resistant, 25% bullet pass through. Um, so that kind of explains um, some of the parts, um, like I said, none of the other parts in the game, like just general parts, have those physical standings. So you, I can sit here and go through all these, and I have, um, just to kind of make this video. All of these are just normal parts. You take them for what they are. So it's got 114 durability, right? So that 114 durability applies to fire, bullets, cannons, laser weapons, energy weapons, um, any kind of damage that creates damage towards durability or like melee damage, any of it. It all applies to that one 114 points of durability. And that is kind of, like I said, you take it for what it is. There's no buffer or damage resistance or bullet pass through on any of these parts. It is only an exceptional few, but those have a higher power score value because of those features. Um, that's why some of these other parts, like this to me is crazy, 133, 28, 56 because this is the part that a lot of people use I myself use it as you can see on my other build I have my mastodons mounted on shoot throwable pieces right there because the only thing that affects them heavily is fire incinerators um, dracos anything that creates fire destroys shoot throwable pieces extremely fast so CL has eight points of durability. So if somebody throws an incin on me, which is an incinerator, it creates a puddle of fire, it burns for that eight points of durability. And that's what destroys these parts super easy. But any physical damage or penetration value like cannons, shotguns, machine guns, um, energy weapons, it just goes through. It mostly passes through. Cannons not so much because it's bullet pass through and cannons are an explosive. So it is mainly, um, bullet pass through but uh that is how you accumulate power score obviously to get rid of power score you just delete a part um and you, like i said you can build builds based off of power score i don't recommend it um your builds are basically the best thing to do is build a build compromised of both durability and power score um, mainly you want to build for durability um, that's what I do. I build for durability and sometimes uniqueness. I'm, I'm pretty picky on how my builds look like. If it doesn't look cool, I'm kind of like, man, whatever. I don't want to do that. So like with, with, with Hulk, when I built him, like this car is built out of a lot. And as you can see, my Mastodons aren't here because I don't have them. This car is built out of a lot of individual little parts and pieces um, and bumpers. As you can see right in here, um, I have bumpers in here. I have that bumper and then I have bumpers behind it. And that's why the durability is so is, is only 2000 but as you can see with power score if i go back add my typhoons back to where they were bam they sit nice and snug in there and we're back up to 19,600 power score and this build is obviously still functioning but that is how you add and remove power score that is the basics of power score how to get it how to build with it and this is once again the panel that shows you and as you are building this will also show you power score in game like so when i say in game so like when i go to build that panel is always there it's always a guideline of you know do you want more acceleration do you have do you want more tonnage and when you want those things or you want to change those things modules more specifically engine modules will affect those parts and components the rest of these are just um parts and pieces for like cooldown like a seal is for cooldown this is for detection radius this is for um like any drones essentially or electric cap cans the jukebo um this is a connector a contact um all these parts have different applications obviously they all have their own power score as well but basically the and this isn't always true but basically the higher the rarity, the higher the power score is going to be. As you can see, 190 specials right before Epic. So that's, I. The, if, you, if you go to the technology tree, so we'll go here. How do we find the technology tree? I gotta look. I gotta think of how, how I did it. 
it's basically a tech there it is bam so you go to faction so here's your technology tree and this is for weapons so this will also show you and you know what your next weapon is in the line if you go down it um you obviously don't have to do that but these are you know basically if you play world of tanks in my opinion this is only one two three four five six tiers so tiers one through six of the weapon um these are all of that stuff and you can find this like i said up in the factions tab and if you go right here technology tree will bring that up and this will show you all of the weapons in the game um sometimes they really they release weapons on here and you can catch it um but um for one instance they showed like the tank track so the new tank track that came out a couple months ago let's go over to it but these are all the wheels so these guys they showed them in here before they were in the game and everybody was like whoa and a lot of people picked up on that so sometimes they'll throw new stuff in here you can sometimes check it out and look but this is like i said the technology tree this will show you um you know the different versions of it so this is light wheel medium wheel heavy wheel and all that stuff now there's only one frontal which is the claw as you can see and then up here it is labeled so this will show you you know kind of what to look for these are your cabins from common to epic to legendary there are no relic cabins yet so we don't have obviously relic power score i'm assuming relic cabins will be you know anywhere from 36 to 4,000 power score i'm assuming like light cabins will be like 36 4,000 for mediums and like 46 for heavies that to me would be realistic you know i mean correct me if i'm wrong you guys might think different but this is for cabins obviously um the new one being the hadron i probably am messing it up but there's that and then you can go through here and this is all the stuff so these are all of the battle passes from the past so all those are highlighted which shows all of the also battle pass things from like or all the cabins from the battle passes but yes anyway getting off topic that is basics of power score guys um that is how you remove it add it um i don't recommend like i said building for power score do not so like what some people will do is we're going to go into it just because this is kind of part of it so go ahead have these parts or most of them so we'll just go ahead and add these buggy steering wheels because i have a shit ton of them no it doesn't need to look pretty bam okay so what a lot of people do is they will have you know and this actually this isn't even a good example because a lot of people don't do that so we'll go here and then we'll add hmm we'll add the gorilla get rid of one of those get rid of that that bam throw some wheels on there so we'll do we'll go back to our starter wheels because that just works obviously that's not right do not judge me i'm just getting it because the frames are gone i'm sorry let's get an eight by four up in there bam trucky truck there we go get rid of that that and we'll put 57's on there. We got nine points of energy, so we'll do that, and we'll we'll slap some cords on here. Okay, so this is kind of what a basic build looks like. Um, a lot of people will start out with stuff like this. So here's the problem that we run into. So a lot of you guys who are new to the game um, are like, "Wow, I really wish I could have a better build or have a higher power score." And a lot of people are what I call power score creeping and want to just have a higher power score they think ah if i have a higher power score my build obviously better not the case so for instance this has a 2499 power score so say i get rid of both my cords and i buy a pack or i grind out better weapons and i buy repairs so these are now a rare weapon i now have two repairs and i'm going to add for instance if i can get my butt over here i'm going to add an r2 chill i'm just throwing this on there as a reference so now I have better weapons with a chiller at 2,800 power score. Now, 
at this power score, I'm sure we've all played at 2800 to 3500 power score, right? There's a lot of seal clubbers. There's guys with maulers. There has been a parser build in the past. I don't really see it too much anymore, but a lot of it is sledgehammers and maces, which is a big issue for people like this. So this build is not gonna work very well for that kind of stuff. Um, repairs are very slow firing, you know, they're an all right weapon. They're, they are a base entry level auto cannon, um, as you can see. And they're not terrible, but as you can see, and as you probably have noticed, playing against sledgehammer builds or shotgun builds, a lot of them are fast, get in your face, and this kind of weapon doesn't last long at all. So the problem with that is people, what they'll do is they will rush to power score creep and buy better parts and put better stuff on their build. However, they just put better weapons on it and better engines and stuff like that. They kind of skip out on, you know, maybe get some better wheels or maybe get a better cabin. Like instead of having this, maybe go and put some time in and get yourself a bear. A bear is the same cabin, same size as all those other cabins, but now look, I have a rare cabin. So now not only do I have more energy, I have more tonnage, I have more mass, I have a higher top speed and I have better base durability. So now I have 819 durability instead of 729, which isn't a huge leap, but every little bit counts because I can't tell you how many battles I have lived with less than 70 or 100 durability. Um, but that is, again, back to my point, that is kind of how this goes. And what I'm seeing is if we go here to like the exhibition here and we just go ahead and type in noob, you'll kind of pull a lot of new builds in. Well, last time it did, it didn't. What did I type in? Newbie? I don't know. So we'll go down here. So I go from 1,000 to 4,000. So as you guys can see, some of this shit is just stupid and trolly and people post random shit on here. But a lot of builds look like this and kind of stuff like this sort. That's not bad, you know. That's not uncommon for its power score. That's not terrible either. But, you know, people will build like, I'm sure you've all seen it, new people will build like towers. Like, it's just like, it's way up there. It's like, dude, why is your guns, you know, stacked upon the tower? And it's just crazy. And, you know, I'm not really finding any good examples. I don't know what I typed in last time, but... People just built stupid shit, and this is all art builds that nobody cares about. Okay, I shouldn't say that nobody cares about. I don't care about art builds because I play the game competitively. Um, but just like stuff like this, like, wah, what is going on with that? Like, I don't even. I mean, teach your own. I mean, we all, we've all we all been here, and this isn't terrible, but the problem is you've got it mounted on destructible pieces that can easily be taken off, and nine times out of ten, if you're playing with shotgun kids, that's exactly what'll happen. So we'll go right here, shotgun, see what we find. So look at this. So this is, <laughs> God, that's broken. So this guy's running fused junk bows. And as you see, spread damage and impulse. That's a disgusting build. So if you've ever played with a junk bow, they're a very good weapon. But as you can see, these are low power score, kill you really fast kind of builds. And you know, it sucks to say it, but like this is what kind of the low power score is nowadays. And it just ruins people. Like are these goblins? No, but these are, these are nasty. Like, can, can you imagine somebody running into you with this thing and just, now you can't get off. And these do melee damage, look at that, bam. Now what, this guy's stuck on you and he just keeps shooting you? Just like that, dead. It's stuff like that that kind of kills a lot of people. Um, like this thing, <laughs> the pleuras. Like, so this is what I'm talking about by low power score. And I'm sorry this video is long, but basically, you want to upgrade your vehicle all the way around opposed to just being like, oh, look at me. I went and got and bought a pack or I went and invested and this is what I don't recommend. I went and invested and bought one gun. 
So say, you know, you're working up the cannons like I did when I first started. You got your first 88, right? Sick. But look at your power score. 3300. It's not what you would call a complete build, nor does it have any modules that enact for it. So this alone, with this build, this is pretty crap. So there's nothing going for it. You have this one gun that has 1,375 power score, right? But all your stuff is common. All your parts, so this build is gonna get eaten alive. Do yourself the favor, and I'm telling you this because this is what I went through. I rolled with medium wheels forever. They suck. Do yourself a favor and get you some better wheels. And if you can, you know, grind towards it or can't afford it quite yet, get yourself a better cabin. It's super cheap to get yourself a, a, a better cabin, like even a, a rare, I don't even know. You can get a special, you can get like the jockey or jawbreaker, not the jockey, but like the jawbreaker. So that's not bad, but just get yourself a rare cabin or something. There's lots of them. You can get yourself all kinds of stuff. There's lots, if you go to the market here, it doesn't take long to sell scrap or resources to get yourself a better cabin. And even in the base tier, there are better cabins. I mean, look at some of these cabins, like the trucker cabin, super heavy cabin, lots of durability. It's not crazy fast, but you can build some pretty durable builds out of this that will benefit you in the long run. So if you run your 88 with like a trucker cabin, it's more feasible because you'll have more durability in the cabin, more damage to put out because you'll live longer, and then you have better wheels to complement that. Whereas if you don't, you know, upgrade all this stuff, you're screwed. So now at 3,827 power score, I stand a better chance than when I did with just this other disaster that we had going. I don't even know why I'm fixing this. But as you can see, yes, now I have a better build that does much better. And say I want to get rid of this. Say, you know, you just upgrade evenly throughout. So I have a rare cabin and I have rare parts. And now my whole build is rare. And now I can, you know, for instance, that we are at max. No, we're not at max energy. So maybe I want to get, you know, one of my first generators. I would recommend the PU in charge because it is durable. And that is what you kind of need in low power score because builds are not very durable. And if they get down to your, your modules, Chances are you're running an ammo pack if you're running a cannon build or you're running a generator so that way you can run, you know, stuff like a KA1 discharger, which mind you, this helps with reload time. And it is no different in size than the KA2. Well, it's actually a little bit wider. This is four and that's three. So it is a little bit different. But anyway, back to my point, you can run modules with the build that support the build. So I'm gonna run an engine with no energy, bam. So now I'm 4,000 power score, I have an epic engine, or in this case, you can pick up a hardcore, which doesn't require any energy, and it is basically a free engine, just like the Red Hot. I fused mine, now I added that. So I'm at 4,000 power score with double judges, a reloader, and an engine, and a good rare cabin. So now I have rare and special parts, and my vehicle is completely it completes the circle if that makes sense so i don't have a you know a, a, a common cabin common wheels with you know special or epic parts and then i just get destroyed every time because the struggle is you don't have parts that complement other parts and what i mean by that is what people will do is they will go ahead and run you know a cannon with let's say a lapura or a, a shotgun I don't have a Lapura, so I'm going to use my Hammerfall at this point. So they'll run like something like this. And you know, this doesn't complement a cannon with a shotgun. What are you gonna do? You know what I mean? So you either you have now you have a cooldown based weapon and a reload based weapon, which doesn't complement you at all in the slightest. Because now you need a reloader and you need a cooler to run your shotgun more effectively. Do you? You don't. No, you do not. But you should. It will just help you in the long run. So when I say build with something that complements the build, you know, if you're going to run a cannon build, try to work towards like a K1 discharger or some of the cabins that affect reload, like the dead man, the Omni box, or maybe accuracy like the Torero. Obviously, something like this is way out of line. It's an ep a legendary cabin unless you buy the battle pass. It is achievable, but just work yourself towards stuff that, you know, 
are more suited for you. So like me, I'm a cannon guy. I like my cannons. So I have obviously my dead man. I do have an Oni box. I just got my Hadron the other day. Um, so, you know, I have other builds for other stuff, obviously, because I have a lot of parts um, from, from my playtime and purchasing packs and whatnot, but just build something that complements itself. So don't run, you know, a cord with, I don't know, a shotgun or, you know, for instance, like something like this, like, just build something that complements you. Don't do stuff like this, which isn't bad, but you know, first off, my guns don't even shoot from behind. But it's not a bad, it's not a terrible setup, but don't do that. Typically what you want to do is, you know, if you're going to run machine guns, try to run something of the same sort. Obviously we don't all have that, but try to run something similar to one another and run supporting modules. So if I'm going to run cords, you want to run something like an R2 Chill, which is a rare cooler and it is the first level. Um, and I do, right now there is a fuse event, I highly recommend you fusing the R2 chills because you are guaranteed to get the um, effect for radiator efficiency. There's only one down here, I highly recommend you do it just because it will help you out in the long run if you do continue to enjoy um, you know, machine guns and cooldown weapons of that sort. Um, reload based weapons obviously require different stuff. But anyways guys, I'm gonna cut that off here. Um, like I said, build stuff to complement yourself. If you're gonna run higher level parts, try to keep everything similar, obviously. You know, don't run a legendary cabin with common guns. It, it, it works, but unless that cabin is affecting the perks, like for instance, okay, I'm gonna go over this really fast. Say I'm gonna run, you know, Shit, I really don't have any good legendaries besides a few. So say I'm gonna run the Hadron, right? So you can run that, but don't go and run 57 Avengers on it. Do yourself a favor and get yourself something a little bit better. You know, don't do not do that. I mean, obviously if this, this is a battle pass uh, cabin, so if this is all you have, by all means, go for it. Use what you have. But what I'm saying for somebody who, you know, grinds out the game, buys a few packs here and there, Try to keep everything circular. Try to keep, I shouldn't say circular, try to keep everything in the same ramification. You know, um, you know, rare parts, obviously there is no legendary wheels or equipment yet or modules, but try to have better wheels with better cabins with better guns. Um, obviously this doesn't matter. All your base parts are all base. There's no rare legendary part. Um, it's all the same. But like I was saying, try to build stuff that's more complimenting to itself you know don't add a cooldown weapon with a reload weapon because it's just going to hurt you in the long run if it's all you got i completely understand we were all there but this is just kind of a tutorial guide on power score um ideas for building on you know what you should do for your next build as far as you know complimenting itself and having i shouldn't say the correct parts because that's not on you to have the correct parts we all started somewhere and we were all poor as dirt um but having parts to complement one another and just you know doing something for yourself opposed to building a tower with a cord on it and two lapuras like that doesn't work i mean it does but it's not a pure build like a pure build and when i mean pure build it is something that say like like i said i'm gonna use cannons for me say i'm running a double judge so if i'm gonna make that a pure build i would run something like for modules I would run a KA2 flywheel because that's what I have and that's my best quality part. That is 20% to reload. So there's my reloads. There's a good module. I could run, say, a Chameleon Mark 1 or a Mark 2, or I could run something like an averter so it would buff the durability of my cannons so they would last longer. So basically, that's what I mean by a complete build, something that's going to benefit itself. Don't run like a cannon and a Lapura because, like, again, you're going to waste more time devoting your energy to one or the other and that just kind of divides your build so anyways guys that is my rant for this i hope this video is a little more in depth it's much faster than my eight minute video or longer but yeah that is my rant guys i will see you guys in the next video i'm sorry for this long ass power score video i will make it a good edit and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks guys